Hi there. This video will show you how to configure your Jumper T Pro to arm and disarm on double click using the momentary switches. There is a little bit of drama about um, how to use those momentary switches, and I think double clicking them is a really safe way to um, to trigger arming and disarming. And I don't have the T Pro myself yet, but I do have a T Light, and so I've just implemented the code on the T Light to see if it works. And so far, it's looking very good. So Basically, if I click in and out twice, you can see you should see Logic Switch 5, Switch 5 will get enabled. So, there you go, and then Logic 5 is out. And one more time, and again. And if I just click in and take too long, it um, disables the, the process, and if I click once, and take too long that also disables the process so basically I've got a timeout so I have to click in and out within half a second and then I have to double click twice or click in and out twice um, within a second for it to trigger the um, the L5 which is let's see again as you can see there there you go so let me show you how it's um, configured in the um, logical switch configuration Okay, so here is basically the design of the um, double click to arm. Uh, the, the first level at the top there, SW, is the switch. And you can see the um, double clicking, so the press in, followed by press out, and then another press in and another press out. And uh, logical switch one is triggered by the initial press in, and then there's a timer for half a second. And um, logical switch two is basically an AND gate, so that if you um, press out within half a second after pressing in that will trigger the logic 2 and then uh, logic 3 would then start timing after the first um, press out and will will basically um, uh, time for one second so that logic 4 will test whether you have started pressing in again within one second after pressing out and then that basically logic 5 captures the arming and the disarming uh, through that process. So um, this is basically just a, um, a quick photo of the, um, the five logical switches and as I just explained as I just explained. And switch one you can see is a sticky. so as, as I said, when, when you press in, it will time for five seconds. Then the next one will test when the button is pressed out, whether uh, it's still, uh, within that five second range, half a second range. And then the next one is basically um, starting the one second timer and then testing when the second time it's pressed whether that one second timer is still um, activated. And that will give you the final one which is um, the sticky to arm and disarm. And that's about it. It seems to work quite well. Um, feel free to um, provide some comments and maybe you haven't done it the most efficient way but that's the best way I could think of and um, enjoy and um, let me know how it goes. Thank you.